All right, I think it's time to claim victory. So currently I have HackRF, QRPP amp, uh, main amp, my power supply feeding it. Uh, it's already on, it's in transmit mode at the moment, it's sitting at 1.2 amps bias. Have a power meter and the tiny SA. So these are gonna be impossible to see at the same time, but I think it's time for me to declare victory. Um, I don't know for how long, so what I can do is I can uh, fire up, I got my little, oh you can't really see it, same thing as uh, the last video there, it's just a little slider um, giving me power of the hacker, uh, power out to the hacker F. So I'm going to do some floor testing here and uh, hopefully we don't see any smoke happen up there. Alright, at let's see, 3% voltage, whatever that is, we get 20 dBm which is 100 milliwatts. So something reasonable, well, a little bit more reasonable, we'll do this in steps. 11%, we are at 34 dBm, so, you know, like 2, 3 watts. Oh, this is on the 200 watt scale, by the way. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to 20%. Uh, let's have a look at this. That's 41 dBm, so just over 10 watts. Um, this meter, I think, is a little bit stingy. Go 30% drive. Uh, 46 dBm, so basically 50 watts. Uh, let's go 40% drive. Well, it's actually a voltage, it's not a power drive, so uh, this is going to be slowly and slowly increasing now. So we'll go 48.7 dBm, which, um, yep, we got there 40%. Go 50% drive, uh, hang on, 50, yeah, ish. 50 dBm, which is 100 watts. We're at 100 watts. Uh, we'll go 60% drive. I am kind of expecting this to blow up, but I'm also kind of expecting it to trip out, so one of the two is going to happen. Oh, look at that power meter. Oh, nice. I didn't actually see that, so I'm going to try that again. 51 dBm. We're almost at 150 watts. I'm going to look at the uh, power supply current. Oh, this is the drain current. Hang on. So that looks pretty pretty spiky there. <laughs> Which is as you'd expect. And we'll look at the current on the power supply. Oh, we're at 10 amps. <laughs> and that just shut off. But no, nope, 1.7 amps still. We're gonna just feel these uh, output transformers. They are barely warm, so I suspect at 100 watts this may not last very long. I'm gonna back off the power so that I'm not drawing 10 amps on that power supply over there. So maybe we'll go down to 50%, which is uh, somewhere around 100 watts drive out. Maybe we'll do this for like, I don't know, a minute, maybe. And we'll see if anything happens, but um, Either we release blue light or we can declare victory. All right, here we go. Uh, the power is going to slowly creep up, isn't it? Yeah, we're at 9.6 amps. I'm going to back it off just a little bit. We're over 100 watts on the meter anyway. So I really only want 100 watts. There we go, 100 watts. Nine amps on the power supply. 230 watts in, 100 watts out, so. Ah, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go feel everything because I'm actually scared of uh, things getting hot over here. Slightly warm on the transformer. How about the feedback resistors? Yep, that's fine. Should mention I've got rid of the filter. I need to um, redesign that seven pole filter that performed like crap is no good to me. So I'm gonna try and change out the uh, capacitors. But anyway, in any case, Oh, I can probably get this all in frame, can't I? I think we can declare victory. So we haven't tripped out um, anything. So activate 100, well, 120 watts. I don't want to go that hard. I think the QRPP amp is um, getting a little bit more excited. It gets more gain as it gets hot. The uh, big one, it doesn't do jack. It just stays where it is. 
Yeah, 100 watts. Okay. We're going to go full drive, see if it trips out. <laughs> yep, there you go. See that? How nothing happened? Uh, if you put too much drive into this, um, it has a, a detection saying, hey, you're being an idiot, back off. And that's what it does to reset it. All I have to do is unPTT it. So hang on, unPTT and uh, trigger the PTT again if I can do that, like that. Oh, and I think we've killed it. Yeah, all right, fair enough. So we've done bad. Yep, that's the end of uh, this MOSFET here. So if you drive it too hard, it will explode. Um, so I guess that's the question then. How much power did we actually overdrive it with at 100%? It will go down to 20 watts uh, because now the PTT is not engaged. So I killed it. I've got one more fed after this. But anyway, I'm not going <laughs> to push it as hard as I did in the past. At 94%, we are driving it with... How much is that? 4 watts. 30, 60 dBm? Yeah, 4 watts of drive. So... Um, 4 watts will kill this amplifier, now that I know. So I guess um, tomorrow I will put the other fed on and uh, I guess declare victory. Um, for now, I will have to come up with a better um, filter, but maybe I should make that um, the input a little bit more sensitive, but I guess it just can't switch off fast enough. So I would have thought 4 watts wasn't enough to kill it because um, I'll show you why. It's definitely way over the drain current, but I don't believe I'm hitting any of those type of limits. So what we're looking for is the gate voltage, which is going to be over here. So we'll put that on there, like so. Oh, this isn't going to let me do this. Uh, we're going to voltage up. We're going to move it into the center because it's AC coupled. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's DC coupled. It rides on DC signal. So I will engage the amp. All right. And uh, maybe we'll try like, I don't know, 70% drive. We're only hitting like 36 volts or something. Oh, not 36, sorry, 3.6 volts. Uh, it tripped because too much input power, I guess. Wee yeah, Come on. I really would have thought that wouldn't have killed it. Hmm. So this is... 3.6 volts, plus about 3.6 on the original. Oh, it's... yeah, tripped. So... That doesn't make a lot of sense because um, this definitely cannot hit like 15 volts. This trips out at 7. And even with 4 watts of drive, um, we should only be hitting like 8, 9 volts on the gate. And this thing's rated for 15 before the gates go through. And the gates went through. So we saw 150 watts out, uh, which is nice. Um, I did this drive at this destruction there, so, you know, fair enough. Interesting. So I've got one more FET. Uh, I'll put it in and then I guess this amp can be... Well, I'll put a filter in and then I'll um, install it and get it on air. And if that doesn't work, then uh, I'm going to switch this to 48 volts and start working on the... Uh, I guess the big boy amp. <laughs> the FET. Uh, that I've, looks exactly the same, but, you know, it's like $250 and I don't want to kill it. So that's why I'm playing around with $20 FETs. Alright, well, lessons learned. Um... We saw our power out, which is what I was hoping. Um, all I did is I lifted the limit up to 18 amps uh, before trip. So I guess rest in peace MOSFET. <laughs> this one worked quite well. I've learned a lot on it. Um, the output circuit I'm happy with now. 150 watts out, it's fine. Um, I'm not going to run it that hard. I'm going to try and probably go for 100 watts or so. But I do need to come up with a filter that doesn't suck. I'll just use a 5-pole filter uh, rather than 7-pole I just had on there. And uh, call it a day. So I guess um, everything's happy and it's all working, but yeah.
Rest in peace, MOSFET. <laughs> Alright, 7-3, VK4, Delta, Lima.